around the group as a result of that? Uh, yeah, really exciting. Mm. Um, we've still got two days to get through, yeah, so yeah. we're not counting <laughs> counting it just yet. Obviously, with the, the history he's had, yeah. but um, main skills tomorrow. So get through main skills. Um, then we'll have the discussion with the performance team whether we think it's best for him to have a run around in the twos mm. uh, for a week or we bring him straight back in. But pretty sure I know what his preference will be <laughs> um, and the coach's preference. It'll just be whether or not what's best for, for his body going forward. But um, at this time of year, it's um, it's a great story for us, for the motivation of the group and, mm. and for the footy club, really. It's been a, an amazing journey, uh, which will hopefully be capped off very soon. I guess the, the conventional thought from the outside has been that he'd come back through the VFL. Like, what are the pros and cons for just coming straight back into the seniors for you? Yeah, um, I think it's more his soft tissue stuff now with having that calf set back three to four weeks ago, um, missing a fair chunk of work there. That Playing back through the VFL, we can monitor his minutes, we can take him on and off whenever we feel like it. The intensity is probably not at the same level. And we've ticked that box with a bit of due diligence to go, yep, he's right to go the week after and there's no injury risk or significant injury risk so the last thing we'd want to do is put him in there and he breaks down you know and then he's out for the rest of the year so um, yeah we're thinking it's probably going to be the VFL even though we'd probably love it to be um, straight back in. How's Ben going like what are the conversations like that you've had with him in the last couple of weeks and in the lead up to making a return? Um, yeah he's been fantastic he's just such a whatever's best for the footy club still at this time of year is he's, he's just his nature. He wants the best for the footy club and if that means that he goes back through the VFL, he'll do what he has to do to, to make sure he's ready but also to make sure what's best for the footy club. So deep down I know he'd love to play seniors, particularly being a game in Melbourne this weekend and we travel next weekend. So to have his support network and his family that have been through so much with him to be at the game would be fantastic. Um, but yeah, once again we've got to do what's best for him for his preparation and um, it's only an hour flight to Adelaide to take his family over there, so it's not too far. What are you... It has, and it, just, it feels like so long since he's played. Um, the leadership that he brings to, to our midfield group um, is, is unbelievable. What he brings around the footy club has been fantastic. And, and not having him here has been a bit of a void that, you know, we've, we found it hard to, particularly on field, to fill at times. Um, in saying that, we've had some great development from LDU. He's stood up and probably been that number one man, so I think he'll now have to step back down when Cunners comes along because Cunners will push him out of the way. But um, what he's still been able to do off the field to help those young guys develop has been unbelievable, and they'll just walk a bit taller once he gets out on the field with them. Been working really closely with Jai and, and LDU in particular, um, just imparting his knowledge of what he's seeing. Um, he sees the game really well. Um, he's able to, to to communicate that really well and help them along the way. And you've probably seen it in their footy, in the, particularly in the back half of the year, how well those two guys have played in particular. Of course, Curtis and Harrod Hall, are they close to returning as well? Yeah, so they'll both full train tomorrow. Yep. Um, if they get through, we'll have match committee this afternoon, but they'll be right back in the frame, yeah, which will be really good. Um, Paulie's had a fantastic year for a first-year player, and we all know how important Hawley is for our, our setup. So, um, yeah, although it was tough losing a fair few guys last week, we got some, some games into some guys that hadn't been playing a lot of footy, and they performed really well last mm -hmm. week. So it'll be a nice little headache to have this afternoon. Yeah, and Marnie and Young, I guess they're in the same sort of... Yeah, they probably go into a little bit of a different category because both of them went into the protocols on Sunday, okay. so they don't come out till Sunday. Uh, so yeah, yeah. we did it with CJ last week. We played him straight off uh, coming out of protocols, and he was quite good. Um, whether it's a different story with running half back and a small forward compared to a ruckman, um, we'll have to make that decision uh, probably this afternoon. But we'll give them every opportunity to see how they're feeling. By all reports, their symptoms are pretty mild, so yeah. they, they'll be right to play some sort of footy this weekend. Pretty big day for the, the club on Sunday with the 96 uh, Premiership guys playing there. So what's that going to be like for the, the club to remember that? Yeah, no, it'll be awesome. We've had John Blakey upstairs just telling us all the stories about how good he was back in the day. And, <laughs> but in all seriousness, that's it's a fantastic club. To have these guys be here on Saturday, I think they're coming coming down to the footy club and then have them at the game. Um, it's just a little bit of extra motivation for our guys to, to you know show what they can do. And um, Yeah, it's really exciting. Uh, it's obviously a long time ago that those premierships happened and probably some of the boys weren't born for them but it's um, exciting to have such great people and great footy people around our footy club to impart some knowledge to our younger boys. you got John Blakey here obviously but are you going to bring any other guys in to, to speak to the, the boys? 
Uh, not not to speak to the boys in particular, but I think they're all coming down here on Saturday morning to watch training and, and mingle with the boys. Um, COVID protocols accepting, uh, maybe, but um, yeah, they'll be around the place um, on the Saturday and the Sunday, so it'll be, be a good feel. I guess looking further ahead, I mean, Cam Zer have shown how good he is for you guys in two of the last three games at least. Um, <coughs> contract talks, obviously, to the side, how, how important is it for you guys to, I guess, re-sign him? For next year and beyond? Um, yeah, we'd love, we'd love to Cam to stay. He's obviously a fantastic player for us and a little bit of a barometer when we're playing well. Um, yeah, I'm not sure where that's at. Um, as I've been saying all along, it's above my pay grade. Um, <laughs> I'm on field stuff and the, the off field stuff will take care of itself. But what I can say is he's playing some, some really good footy at the mm. moment and we love what he's bringing. Mm. I guess um, I'm just saying, I don't know it's about your pay grade, but Todd Walsh as well seems to sort of chat about him as well. It would be really important for him to stick around for the club next year as well. Oh, I'd love him too. Yeah. Um, I've got a soft spot for Goldie. I got drafted the same year as Goldie, so <laughs> um, that's yeah. It's a, well, I've been retired for eight years and he's still going. But um, yeah, but I'd just love to see him be a one club player. He's, he'll he'll bring up three hundred next year if he does get there. And um, I know for me personally to be a one club player, obviously the third of the games that he did, but it's a fantastic feeling, and I'd love him to finish off his career here because. He's still playing some really good footy, which is amazing at, at his age. What about the Suns this weekend? You brutally challenged them, probably should have stopped the win earlier in the season. It's on your home decks. Is there belief that maybe you can get it done this time? Yeah, I think the great thing about this group there has been some real belief um, that we can beat anyone on our day at the moment, that we're playing some footy that allows us to, to match up against most teams. We, we know we're going to have to beat our best, though. They're, they're Probably their last month to six weeks been outstanding. Their contest work... Their full ground defence has been um, really, really good. It's, it's Some of their stats are scary to read, to be honest, at the moment doing our opposition review, but it's a great challenge for our group. Um, our contest in midfield has been really good the last few weeks, and going up against guys like Luke Parker, Warner, you know, guys like that in there, it's going to be a really good challenge and one that we're really excited for. How are you finding your role at the moment? Are you settled in and I'm guessing the first couple of weeks a bit of a whirlwind. Do you feel comfortable now and like you're able to impart something? Yeah, I feel like I've, I've lived all the, the highs and lows of it already. A, a really good win to start with and then a couple of losses. But um, I'm really enjoying the role. I'm really enjoying seeing the guys respond to a couple of little different things we're trying to do and play some different footy and, um, you know, the intricacies of trying to get the guys motivated and all that kind of stuff so I'm really enjoying. And at the moment, the boys are responding really well. Obviously, we're not getting the wins the last couple of weeks, but it's funny, we're really, really buoyed by the game on the weekend against the Bombers, um, the way we wanted the game to look. It's just we didn't get the score that we, we probably deserved from the probably the clearance contest dominance that we had. So it's probably just about trying to educate the guys on the way the game looks really good. We've just got to get a bit more bang for buck and, and that'll come hopefully if we continue just to play the way we are. Just the Walsh review, have you heard you know, where that's at and have you heard where it might be close at the moment? No, I haven't heard anything to be yeah, honest. Yeah. Um, so I'm guessing the board's taking care of that. Mm. Um, I'll, from my point of view, I don't think we'll hear too much from, from our point of view till the end of the season. Mm. Um, so we've got three weeks to go, trying to keep the boys motivated for that period of time and, mm. and not worry about too many of the external things. And then yeah. once the season's over, um, I'm sure that's when most of the things that need to be done will be done. I guess Alistair Parson keeps getting linked to the club. How, how exciting would the prospect of such a coach um, coming here be for next season? Yeah, I think, I think the credibility as a footy club that we, we gain by bringing in someone like him would be fantastic. Um, whether that happens, I'm not too sure, but um, I'm just really adamant that we just need to get the right person to do the job to make sure that um, us as a footy club are, are going in the right direction. And it's a really important decision and um, I'm sure the board will make the right one.